what's up YouTube? I know it's been a while, but I do want to show you the update I have for the white tiger. It's been too long and you see I'm breaking it down again, doing another project. So this video is coming out soon. Like I promised this would come out sooner than this one was supposed to come out. But I don't have a good history of what we did. I just have some photos and some videos I took throughout this process, but I would like to show this video and I'll show like a little overview of where we're at right now and what we plan to do. So enjoy. Turn the music off for the freaking copper, right? Everybody nowadays is freaking pussies. All right, so Buddy Dave was down there trying to cut off that little freaking uh, nub and end up cutting his finger off. So I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna try my luck at cutting this freaking nub off. So y'all come on down here and join me. I'm gonna cut this thing off. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Got me a fresh beer. Got my safety uh, glasses, PPE on, which they they do tell you in instructions to wear your personal protective equipment. They tell you <laughs> every page. They make damn sure they tell you to wear your personal protective equipment in every freaking page but they just don't tell you how to do it you guys may want to wear a, a face shield because i've got a mouthful of metal hold on let me uh wash that down with a little beer right here mm. it's so much better <laughs> so what we're gonna do right here Got this little flat disc. Ooh. Yeah, got a little flat disc right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take where that that little cone comes down. We're gonna take it where I cut it off, and we're gonna flat disc it all the way flat with uh, I guess you can call it the frame rail. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, which. Somebody video that we seen, uh, they had cut it off. They didn't show them cutting it off, but we noticed in a video when they were bolting it together, that that, that little nub that's about two and a half inches long was gone. It was cut off, grinded down, and had a little, uh, even had a little primer sprayed over it. Just so, you guys know, if you're looking at this video, that that's what you gotta do. All right, here we go. Super Dave here on the camera. Super Dave is, he gonna show us right here. So, <clears throat> damn, <clears throat> this little nub used to be about two and a half inches down from here to here. So, it, ah, that's hot as shit. don't do that. Okay. So what you gotta do, you gotta cut that son of off. You gotta come back in here and you gotta grind it down. That way, whenever you put your whole assembly up underneath there, everything mounts up like it should be. Then what happens is whenever you put your sub-assembly up underneath here, it's gonna hit there, 
it'll hit here, but you'll have about an inch and a half gap right here. Now, the reason you got an inch and a half gap right here is because they didn't tell you to cut this off right here and grind it down flat. Here's going to be the first attempt to starting the car. So as you probably saw in the video, we now have 15 inch wheels by Mickey Thompson. We got a Moser solid axle rear end and sub, sub frame. Right, get a little light under here because it's too dark. As you can see, we got the rear end all the way through there. I still got my Exhaust diverters back here, which I'm going to eventually change. Sorry, it's so dirty still. It's, I haven't cleaned it since race day. So the shocks are from AFCO. You'll order it painted by Moser, but it would be cheaper and actually better just to paint it ourselves and for the back to the rims unfortunately i had to put a spacer in it because i ordered the wrong size rim on the inside it's still a mess but got our shifter which I made a custom bracket to hold it. Again, sorry for some of the dust I haven't cleaned in here. But I have it first gear all the way back, bump to second, then click third, and then fourth. Then you'll squeeze neutral click reverse and then squeeze part I have my pulley system in there <laughs> got the holly if I 
three and a half inch screen there, on a six inch uh, dash screen there. Actually found a carbon fiber bezel, but it's carbon fiber dipped. Doesn't fit perfectly, but does the job. Got the Holly gauges for boost and fuel. Then I 3D printed a switch case here. Actually custom made with my logo. Get back to that in a second. In the back. The back is not organized yet. I still have a lot to do to clean this up. This was just a rushed, have to get it running kind of job. Right there is a custom bump box, which I have not got working yet. Because I'm not very good at wiring and that's not functional. <laughs> Don't mind the mess, this powers pretty much everything. And since we like safety around here, we have the fuel line running right here next to all of our electronics and battery. We got our fuel cell in the back. We have a cutoff switch here that turn on and off. So that gives the that kills the power on the inside, so I can do that. Flip this. You know, fuel pumps and everything can kick on, which I'll turn the fuel pump off for this demonstration. And I got my gauges. Stand the right there. Then I got four gauges, some redundant. But still good to have. Kill the power up here. Back here, main power cutoff kills everything to the car. Back here, I got it on a battery tender. I got the fuel cell on a custom, custom made rack. Put the fuel pump out of the Camaro's gas tank and put it in this. Um, I cut this out and put a rubber seal between it. And this actually fits pretty well with all with my triple triple fuel pump system. Got my fill up, fill up here. See the fuel foam down down in there. I got the same pack full of fuel foam. Here's my cinder, my fuel level cinder. Goes straight up here to the front on that fuel gauge. I've got an exhaust, a gas exhaust valve there, which goes down under, down under the car, under the car, comes out there to a check valve so nothing goes in, comes down and comes out right there is the exhaust port. The transmission is a 4L80E. I got from Jake's Performance and the the transmission pan was actually leaking a bit on me. It seemed to be warped so I got me an aluminum um, pan. A little bit upgrade. Ran the lines up front. The engine bay, I've got a Summit brand, Summit Racing brand radiator and two electric fans. One's a 16 inch, I believe, and the other one's like a 10 inch. Don't quote me on that, I can't remember exactly. I got a split in here for the water hose. Lines. Right now I'm rocking no filter because I'm still in the middle of the build. Down here where the filter usually goes, the cabin air. Right now it's just full of wires. 
Trying to keep it clear of that, at least. But the Holly system will come through here. Got it routed right through there. The harness distributes out. Goes down to the firewall, down to that. And then again, just distributed back through here into this wiry mess, which is on my next agenda to fix. I'm gonna label all the wires, clean them up, shorten the ones I can, better route them, wrap them up, make them nice, make it a good harness.